and introduce him to you first. Fighting out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 70.4 kilograms and trains under Chris Hellback out of C4 MMA with an amateur record of four wins for one defeat. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Mac Gory! And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 70.6 kilograms and trains under Brenton Mumford and Glenn Sparv at a CMBT training center. With an amateur record of five wins for four defeats, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Taser Malone! Round one of three. Three minute rounds, no touch of gloves. Not after yesterday, says Matt Gorey, but he finds himself on the end of a takedown, courtesy of Taser. Yeah, you see Taser Malone caught for a glove touch there. Uh, Mac obliged him in the, in, when they were staring each other down and ran out and decided not to touch gloves <laughs> after all. The psychological warfare on full display here tonight. Also, I've been in this game for a long time. I've never seen anyone enter the cage as, as uh, Taser entered the cage here by climbing over the cage instead of going through the gate. <laughs> he's full of surprises as Taser Malone. And he's got some new tricks up his sleeve using that shoulder bump to try and get rid of Matt Gorey. He seems to be quite happy staying half guard here and land some shots, land some shoulder strikes, trying to soften that body up early. Ever since he started training at CMBT, Kyle, it's almost like we've seen a new Taser Malone. He was one of the original uh, members of Shindo New Beat Breed under Kerry Dunn. He made the transition to CMBT, and rightly so. You can see Glenn Sparv alongside Darcy Vendy in his corner. The usurper himself. The usurper! <laughs> Thank you, Kyle. Another name I like to say. Oh, absolutely. Can't wait to see him back in the cage again as well, T. Oh, I totally agree with you, Darcy. Always brings the intensity inside the eternal cage. And it's his teammate, Taser Malone, doing the same. Most definitely got his rounds in at CMBT. And he even made the trip down to Freestyle Fighting Gym to train with the mixed martial artists down there. None more so than the pound for found King. And Alex Volkanovsky back to the action here. Taser. It's all Taser at this stage, Kyle. Yeah, Taser's doing everything right in this fight now so far. He's landing just enough ground and pounds for the rest not to, not to stop him and stand him up. He looks to improve his position and then goes back to ground and pound again. And he could step over in the mount here too. Mac needs to be careful and not, and, and not there. Here he goes, Taser steps over the mount. This is not a good position for Mac to be in right now. Right on cue, Kyle. The crowd starting to get behind Taser here. And he's just being technically relentless. Is Taser Malone, Mac Gorey, struggling to gather any momentum here in round one? Something we don't see right often. Taser stepping off mount back into half guard. Must have felt more comfortable being in half guard now. Well, he postures up for the final 10 seconds. And he'll keep Matt Gorey where he started in round one. Signals us underway. Yeah, it's very intelligent by Taser, though, not to get sucked into that game. Taser looking to go straight back to where he finished round one and clinch up with him and try and get this fight to the ground. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> Wrestling of Taser Malone has proved to work wonders for him in his Taser. career. Okay, great position from Taser right now. He's able to take him down from that body lock position and almost straight back into half guard again. He could step, like once again, he could step over the mount at any point if he wants to, if he just clears that arm and steps up, but quite happy to sit back into half guard again. See Mac now laying down with his legs. He's not, he doesn't have his legs wrapped up. He's just allowing Taser to go wherever he wants, really. So we see Taser in the full guard now of Mac. See if Mac can do anything submission wise in his full guard. He's trying to isolate an arm and swing his hips out. Taser steps up. 
steps back in the half guard now, just steps over. Taser making this look easy, T. Oh, he is indeed, and you've got to give credit to the improvements that he's made. As I mentioned, that three-fight skid certainly got to him. He got back on the horse against Ryan Levy, went down to Kobe Porter in his last bout. We'll see Kobe Porter later on tonight, but these improvements looking to bring dividends for Taser as he takes the back now on Matt Gorey. He almost had an arm triangle there, Carl, but he decides to strike now. Yeah, he almost had a head arm choke, decided to give it up to, to almost take the back. And even now, he's still in a great position now. He's dragging back to the ground. He has that arm trap on the inside as well. It's going to be some heavy ground and pound from here. Taser Malone, absolutely ruthless. He's right in front of his corner now, Darcy Vendy, Glenn Spahn, giving him the word. Knees to the body now. Those are some heavy shots that are going to pay dividends in this fight. He's three from three for takedowns, is Malone. Taze Malone is unloading now. He's looking for that rear naked choke. I think he's going to wrap that tight, team. He does it, team! Ladies and gentlemen, our referee in charge has called a stop to this fight at 2 minutes 27 seconds of round number two. Declaring your winner via submission due to a rear naked choke in the red corner, Taze Malone.